if a b and c are three independent events such that p of a is equal to p of b is equal to p of c is equal to p that's probability of an event a and probability of an event b and probability of an event c are equal to p then probability of at least two of a b c occur is the meaning of at least two of a b c occur can be taken as A occurs, B occurs, and C does not occur. Means at least two, minimum two. Or we can consider means prints addition. Uh, A occurs, B does not occur, C occurs. Or we can say A does not occur, B occurs, and C occurs. This is for the two, and for three, all the three occurs. That is A, B, C. And complement is nothing but probability of an event is. P, then probability of its complement can be taken as one minus p. Okay, and now the probability, probability of at least two of probability of at least two of A, B, C occurs can be taken as probability of A intersection, B intersection, C complement. Plus probability of A intersection B complement intersection C plus probability of A complement intersection B intersection C plus probability of A intersection B intersection C. Since the events A, B, C are independent, therefore their complements are also independent, and hence we can write since they are independent, we can write it as P of A into P of B into P of C dash. Plus p of a into p of b into p of c dash, or we can add p of a dash into p of b into p of c, or we can add p of a into p of b into p of c. So which equals to probability of an event A is we can take it as p, since it is given p, and here p of b is also p. And p of c dash is one minus p. Similarly, here p into p into one minus p. Oh, sorry, this is p of p b dash, and this is c. So we can write here p into one minus p into into p plus here p of a dash is one minus p into P into P plus P of A into P of B into P of C that is P into P into P. So this is nothing but P square of one minus P, and here also P square of one minus P, and here also P square of one minus P that is three times P square of one minus P plus P Q. And on simplifying, we can write this is three P square minus three P Q plus P Q. So which is equal to Three p square minus two p cube. So we can go with an option three p square minus two p cube. That is second option is the right answer. Sorry, third option is the right answer. Right? Please like, share, subscribe, and support us. Thank you.